Attack 2022. As the curtain comes down on 2021 and we're ushering in a new year, I see opportunities and possibilities for us to begin afresh and to make sure that we make 2022 a breakthrough year. So that's exactly what I'm talking to you about today. Hello, welcome to the Half Hour with Jonah Mungoshi. And today our topic is Attack 2022. How to achieve breakthrough in 2022. We're talking about planning, strategizing for the new year and making sure that we start on a high note and within the first two or three months, we've already set the tone for what will become a breakthrough year. So first things first, let us review our 2021 as it gives us the foundation, the basis upon which we can build into 2022. So I've got six areas here of review that I want you to take very seriously because unless you do your review seriously, you run the risk of living the same year over and over and over where you have lived five years, but in fact, it's just one year repeated five times. How do you avoid that? You reflect, you look at what is happening, you learn from your experiences and having learned those lessons, you apply those lessons in your life going forward. So here are the six areas I want you to think about. Number one, effort. I want you to think about the effort that you put into achieving your goals in 2021. On a scale of 1 up to 10, how much effort did you put? Was it a 10 out of 10? Was it a 9 out of 10? Was it a 1 out of 10? It's of utmost importance that you rate yourself in terms of your effort. Number two, clarity. How clear were you on your goals in 2021? If I'm to ask you, what are the two or three main goals that you were pursuing in 2021. Can you tell me those clearly, articulately, without stammering or stuttering, without saying, "Mm," and you can say, hey, my two goals for 2021 were A and B, and this is what I achieved. On a scale of one up to 10, how clear were you on your goals? Number three, consistency. To what extent did you stay the course? If you started the year maybe with a new year resolution with certain goals you wanted to achieve, or somehow you slack and you got lazy, you got distracted, and you started pursuing a different goal. So that consistency is directly correlated or related to the success that you achieved. On one thing. On whatever you're doing. So if you keep changing, then chances are you'll just be achieving mediocre success or even failure because you keep changing. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how consistent have you been in sticking to your goals during the year 2021? Moving on to number four, innovation. How innovative were you in 2021? A new plan. If you didn't try any innovation, then chances are you did not set yourself up for achieving different results because different results come from different actions. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how innovative were you? How creative? In fact, kufunga is okay, but we're more interested in what you actually did. Having thought about it, did you implement any new ideas? On a scale of 1 to 10, what is your rating? Number five, results. Now, you know, I always say results don't lie. If you look at the results that you achieved in 2021, the actual results that you got, whether these are financial results, whether these are results in terms of improving your your knowledge and your skill, acquiring a course, a degree, setting up a business, you know, where you'd set a goal out of a business by this day. Have you done that? Maybe a side hustle, maybe relationships that you wanted to strengthen. On a scale of 1 to 10, to what extent did you manage to achieve your results? Do you give yourself a 3 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 8 out of 10? It's up to you. But be honest with yourself. And finally, growth. Sometimes we don't get the results that we want. But in the process, we grow. We learn important lessons that we can then build on. So if you look at the growth, if you say in terms of my knowledge, in terms of my skills, in terms of my wisdom... How did I grow in 2021? On a scale of 1 up to 10, what mark do you give yourself in terms of growth? So those are the six areas in which I would like you to seriously look into yourself, do an introspection, you know, 
kana ngure zvizvongorore kuti ndakaita same mu gore ra 2021 and let me repeat them it's effort that's number 1 clarity that's number 2 consistency is number 3 innovation or creativity is number 4 results is number 5 and growth is number 6 having done that we are now ready to hit 2022 with a big stick to start on a high note to attack 2022 and if you're interested in that stay tuned and i'll see you on the other side